Hello and welcome to uh, Enjoy Harmonica. My name's Callum. So today in beginner lessons, we're going to be looking at uh, introductions, riffs and licks. Which one's which? When do you play them? Uh, I'll be explaining all that to you in the video coming up. So if you're in any other social media, get on to uh, YouTube and watch the rest of this video. Okay. Thank you and I will see you soon. Oh, <laughs> hello and welcome to uh, Enjoy a Monica. I just got me drinking there. My name's uh, Callum, that I said in the intro. Oh, intro, that's what I'm talking about. Introductions uh, to start off with. So what is an introduction? Well, the introduction introduces you to the mood of the song. Um, so let's take a look. And there's lots of lots of uh, well-known harmonic introductions to song. He ain't heavy. He's my brother by the Holies. Uh, this one here. Piano Man by Billy Joe. It's in the wrong key. I, I, I don't worry about that. It's in the key of C. I should have played the key of G. My apologies to the viewer and uh, indeed to Billy Joe. Um, so that's an intro. It gets you in the mood for the song. Okay, so that was one example. There's obviously another example. Um, there's lots and lots of examples. But here's one which is uh, New Young Heart of Gold. Push in the mood. You know, what, you know what kind of rhythm to expect. You know what kind of mood to expect. You don't know the lyrics, obviously. You know, singing it, but it kind of gets you in the mood. Okay, so that's a, a very basic understanding of an intro. Okay. So that was a well known riff, as you know, uh, Manish Boy. No, no, that was I'm a Man. Sorry, sometimes it's very So that was I'm a Man, that's a riff. Now that's basically the name, main idea, the main theme, if you like, of the song. And that will carry more or less all the way through the song. Certainly on the chorus, that would be the main musical part you would hear. But some, more often than not, it's all the way through the song. Now it will vary a little bit, depending, the notes will vary slightly, but the rhythm and the pattern will be kind of the same. You understand? So the pattern will be the same, the riff will be very similar all the way through to notes. Uh, and that really holds the song together as it were, you know? You'll get licks that come off the riff, which I'll talk to you about in more detail in a minute or two. But the main uh, riff will be the same throughout the song. So let's take another example. That's another one of these well-known blues riffs. Now that will stay throughout the song. You will get a variation on that. Uh, higher pitch, different notes, etc. But the set, the, the basic pattern would the same. And then, as you know, there's two second gap in between. That will be that will remain the same throughout the song. Okay, so that basically, very basic terms now. Is a riff. That's the most popular thing you'll hear harmonica teachers show to you and explain to you and demonstrate to you because people want to hear riffs because that's the most common thing you hear. That's the thing, oh yeah, that I understand that riff. I hear that. I hear that quite a lot in songs. So that's all I want to learn. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is licks. That's a little bit different. I'll explain why.
So I've just played a few licks there for you. Now it doesn't mean much to you, does it? In fact, it's bordering on irrelevant because a lick comes off the main part of the the main part of this the main body of the song, the main riff of that song, the main idea of the song, if you like, the main tune, if you want. And it just stands alone. It's just a little piece of music that stands alone, but it uses obviously the the the, the root notes. The, the bass line, if you like, of the tune. Now, that's the musical term, you can look it up if you like. But uh, obviously, it sticks to the musical integrity of the song. The mood, if you like, the flair of the song. Indeed, the key sticks to the key of the song in the position of the harmonica. So all these things it sticks to, but it's not the main part of the song. It just stands alone. Uh, so. There, there is a harmonica instructor, I won't say his name because it's not very much, and he has a lick of the week. And every week, go on his YouTube channel. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I've got a lick of the week, and here it is. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to teach you that. And he'll teach you, and that's very good. But you've no idea where it's from. Um, you don't even know if it's really a lick because a lick usually is from a piece of music that's already been written and, and uh, you know, well, it's well known, okay? Uh, similar to a riff, but a lick would be uh, like a solo piece. So, you know, a lick's really one of these things you can just make up, you know, um, like I just did at the beginning. So that's a lick explained for you. Uh, there, there we are. So, I hope you've learned something from this little video regarding uh, intros, uh, riffs and licks. I do appreciate you watching it. If you've enjoyed it, please put like, press the little like button there, and uh, subscribe to Enjoy Harmonica. By the way, if you've got any, this is just a very brief overall uh, of these uh, three little subjects. If you've got any comments you want to make below, please make them. Uh, I won't be offended if you correct me or I've said something wrong or you know a bit more guidance on something i answer all the comments and uh you know i do appreciate very much you watching my channel please subscribe please share in any way you like and uh well i'll see you next time thank you very much and uh, goodbye